Okay, welcome back. Today's recipe comes straight from the Food Network, like Sunday morning shows. You know, sometimes you're just done watching F1 in the morning and you're just scrolling through TV saying, what's on? You come across Valerie Bertinelli making bacon jam and you say, that looks too good to be real. And you go ahead and make it that next, pretty much two days afterwards. And you say, holy crap, that was so good. I think I'm gonna have to make a video of it. So here we go. It's a video of Valley Bertinelli's Bacon Jam. I'm gonna need to follow the recipe for the most part. So I guess you can go to like foodnetwork.com slash whatever that stuff is. I'm not, you know, they don't pay me. You can do whatever you want. Uh, but I, of course, I'm probably gonna change it just a little bit. So first of all, we start, I think she said two onions. These are kind of tiny, but that's what we got. It's called cooking, so that's what we're doing. Okay, so here's how I'm cutting this onion. I'm lobbing the top off, pulling in right in half. And then peel in the skin. We'll leave the root intact so we have a little handle. And then we'll just go about to the root. And try not to cry. And again, these can be just dice. Keep her pulsing up. We'll wait on this garlic. All right, once we get all the onion to the bowl, we go in with the star of the show. The bacon. Okay, so we're gonna use the whole pound, the whole package, one pound of thick cut bacon. Uh, I don't really like, I, I can do whatever bacon you want. I guess you can do hot soap sada. You could add, do applewood smoke. You could do maple smoke. I think this is just regular old thick cut. I threw the package away bacon, so. Doesn't really matter. And we're just going in with pretty chunky, half inch thick lardon. Wow, that's a lot of bacon. Yes, yes it is. I know the rest of everyone online is like, it's pretty fatty. Yeah, it is, but it's bacon. Come with me. To the stove of your imaginations. We're just gonna kind of get this on medium, medium, and uh, start it a little bit. Oh, do you know what this is? This is, this is fried shallot oil. <laughs> what do you need? <laughs> so we're gonna let this get warm. To about medium. I think we'll suck a little wooden spoon, but I guess we'll just go in with it. Okay, so she says after about three to four minutes, it should start to look kind of like this. But it took me like 10 minutes. So, you know, that's cooking. So after it starts to brown, you know, it's on about medium. We're going in with all of the onions. So at this step, we're going to stir it all in. We're going to let this do its thing for 20 to 30 more minutes. And then we're going to add all some of this fun stuff that we'll talk about here in a little bit. Oh, welcome back. Look at this. We're going to turn this on very low. So this took me about 20 minutes to get this far. And now here's our next step. We're going to take some brown sugar, some Kanye pepper, and this is where we go wild, uh, Valerie. We've got some Aleppo in here as well. We have a little mixy business. Okay, so we've got our brown sugar, our Kanye, and our Aleppo in the bowl. To that, we're going to take, let's just move this off of the heat. We're going to, to that, we're going to microplane in some garlic. Of course, you can mince the crap out of it and really show off your knife skills and impress your loved ones. Or you could just go in, go ho. I think the recipe says three, but I don't care. So here is our, our about three ish cloves of garlic with everything going in, going in. To the bowl. Mix it together. 
going in with another beautiful ingredient. One quarter of one cup of balsamic vinegar. Take this back up. We'll let this reduce down for about five minutes, maybe less. And then we will take it off the heat and give a little pulse pulse. Boys and girls, we have soft boiled eggs. Oh, soft-ish, soft medium, medium-ish boiled eggs. Jammy. With a nice jammy yolk. And that familiar sound, but you know that it is perfectly Go ahead and take him out too, a little mafia guy. Hey, little mafio. He's caught out for my little mafia guy. It actually, as goofy as it is, works out perfectly. So here's what we're gonna do. We're back to the bacon jam, the bacon jam. And if you look at the reviews on the bacon jam, the reviewers are like, oh man, there sure is a lot of fat. Yeah, it's bacon. That's what you get. My recommendation is you just don't be a little No. No. <laughs> My, <laughs> you just say little no. my, my recommendation is to take a little slotted spoon here and just kind of get a get yourself all this bacon jam, bacon goodness in. But we're still gonna have to put some of this fat in. So, you know, we'll go in like that. Here you go. There you go, friends. We'll save a little bit of this fat to toasty up a little toasty toast because we're gonna come back and show you what I do with this. Um, so, okay, we'll leave just the right amount in here. We'll take all the bacon and onion, make sure. It's not ripping hot anymore. We let it cool down because we don't want to explode everything. I guess we will vent it though, just in case. And we just want to go a couple. Oh, we got to plug it in. Oh, we got to plug it in. We're just gonna go a couple. Boom! Boom! Ah! And that's it. Come, come take a look. Come take a look to a world of imagination. Look at this bacon jam. Oh, grab it. Right, look at this bacon jam. Look how good this looks. Look how good this looks, people. Ooh, yeah! Recording. Okay, friends, here we go. Or it's, it's a symbol time. We've got this beautifully toasted piece of rosemary bread from Central Market. Um, and oh, so here are some of the accoutrements we're gonna be using today. Let me get them over here. Today we're gonna do a nice avocado toast with an everything bagel, Momofuku savory season blend, and oh my god, black truffle chili crunch. So here we go. It's assembly time. We're going with the bacon. Big spoonfuls of bacon jam. Crust to crust is a must. Now we're going to take some of our beautiful avocados. Put on top of here. We're gonna to top this with some heb, bagel not included. Going heavily. Okay, here we go. Which egg do we wanna use? Which egg do we wanna use? We'll choose this one. Just wait, one final. Give it a nice good stir. And this is hot as, oh, it is spicy, but it is worth it. Let's give it a little chili crisp action here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is America right here. This is bacon, 
This is Mexico avocado. This is some um, Asian momo. This is America. This is America on a plate. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this is gonna be delicious. Let me just cut a little, cut a little triangle, get a little, get a little spoon piece right here. I gotta get it off. I gotta get it off. I'm about to get it. Are you kidding me, America? Are you kidding me, Miss Valerie Bertinelli? Wow. This is so good. This is what I like to do when I do it up. You can choose your own adventure. Have fun. This is awesome. You're welcome.